if the universe truly oscillates, if the modern scientific version of the old Hindu cosmology is valid, then still stranger questions arise. Some scientists think that when redshift is followed by blue shift, causality will be inverted and effects will precede causes. First, the ripples spread out from a point on the water's surface. Then, I throw the stone into the pond. Some scientists wonder, in an oscillating universe, about what happens at the cusps, at the transition from contraction to expansion. Some think that the laws of nature are then randomly reshuffled, that the kinds of physics and chemistry we have in this universe represent only one of an infinite range of possible natural laws. It is easy to see that only a very restricted range of laws of nature are consistent with galaxies and stars, planets, life, and intelligence. If the laws of nature are randomly reshuffled at the cusps, then it is only the most extraordinary coincidence that the cosmic slot machine has this time come up with a universe consistent with us. Do we live in a universe which expands forever or in one where there is a nested set of infinite cycles? There's a way to find out the answer to that question, not by mysticism, but through science, by making an accurate census of the total amount of matter in the universe, or by seeing to the very edge of the cosmos. Radio telescopes are able to detect distant quasars billions of light years away, expanding with the fabric of space. By looking far out into space, we are also looking far back into time, back toward the horizon of the universe, back toward the epoch of the Big Bang. Radio telescopes have even detected the cosmic background radiation, the fires of the Big Bang, cooled and redshifted, faintly echoing down the corridors of time. 